Could you describe how you developed uh, your relationship with Mac Miller? Yeah, uh, that started probably four years ago. Um, you know, Benji started Rostrum Records. Um, you know, and it was a time where Wiz was uh, going off of one major to another major, and there was a little interim there. So uh, Rostrum really started out as having a, a, an act by the name of Denora, which was a rock band from Pittsburgh. Uh, you know, while Wiz was, you know, like I said, kind of going back and forth, we distributed some mixtapes that were cleared. You know, pretty cleared. Um, mixtapes for Wiz, and then, you know, Benji came along and said, I have this kid, Matt Miller, that, you know, is garnering some attention because of what was going on with his mixtapes and the shows that he was, you know, doing in, in colleges and whatnot across the country. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, that plan was really, because the blogs knew about it and, and obviously had a fan base, it was really kind of getting that retail story started, right? So we needed iTunes to know who he was. We needed, you know, Spotify or Google or whoever to know who Mac Miller was. So it started off with a, you know, a um, bunch of singles to go out with. So I think the first one was Knock Knock off of one of his kids' mixtape. And, um, <clears throat> you know, just work it there and just really kind of got iTunes interested. And uh, then that started the On and On and Beyond EP, you know, which went on to sell insane amount of numbers. Um, and that really developed then that story to sell to a Best Buy who, you know, wanted to order a lot of Blue Side Park because they knew that now, by that point, it's been, it was probably, I don't know, eight months later and, you know, the story was even bigger. So. That's really how it started, like, you know, with all our labels, it's really just sitting down with them and our marketing team and just saying, okay, this is really how the structure should be and how we feel you should release it. Though we never, it's not like hard set rules, we, we allow the labels to do whatever they want to do, but, you know, we just give them our ideas and kind of go from there.